This is a quick overview of the iBoss World website. My goal is to show you how to navigate the site, where information is located, what information is located. I will not be going into detailed data analysis. That will be for another video. So first is logging in. Once you're logged in, you will see the graphic site list. This is the normal starting point. We also have a text-only version, which I'll show you at the end, but this is the normal starting point. This will show you every site that you have permission to see, in this case site 2, demo site 3, and within each site all the different pools. So for demo site 2 we've got our open issues here, we can click on an open issue and it will pop up that issue for editing or if you want to close it. Notes, more informational, again you can click on it, see the note, edit it, and then if you want to add a new note right here. And, and if you add, this will be a site note. Then we have the individual pool itself. So the 36 volt pool, we can see how many chargers and batteries. We can also see there's eight alerts, eight things that are out of range. So highlighted in orange, if I highlight over it, I can see all of the different numbers uh, without having to go anywhere else. Minimum uh, batteries available, total miss picks, charge utilization and cool down time. So some of our most important graphs in miniature right on the front so you can take a look at them, see if there's a problem. Second level, click on, on any of these things and it'll take you to the second level which is the report page. You'll see that the site is here and we can pick a different site if we want to. The pool is here, we can move to another pool. We can change the start and end date. It defaults to the past 30 days. There's some shortcuts here for last 90 days, last 7 days, or if you change these dates and you want to get back to the last 30, you can just click here, get right back to where you started. And down here is where we'll change to different reports. Right now we're looking at the availability report, where we can see the minimum batteries available every day. Now, there's a third level of detail, so I can go here on a day when we had zero available and see some statistics in the uh, pop-up window there. But if I want to get more detail than that, I'll click and go down to the third level, which is the very detailed transactional level. And this shows me exactly what happened during the day. How many batteries did I have available at any point in time? From a minimum of zero to a maximum of nine. Go back to the availability report itself, and you'll see the maximum batteries available, the total batteries selected, all of our statistics on battery availability, notes and issues, and, and if, the, if the notes are specific for this pool, it'll show up here, um, and then the details here. So every single day, the same sort of statistics we have up top, but more in a table form. Now there's two boxes here I'd like to explain. One is the minimum, uh, minimizing and maximizing buttons. So if you don't like graphs and you like tables, you can shrink all of those and you don't need to see them. It'll remember that. If you need help, it will pop up like this and go away. Or if you click on it, it'll go up there and stay so that you can read it as you're looking at the graphs. So we'll go to the mispicks report. This is the graph of how many mispicks each day. Again, you can drill down on that and see the detailed um, hour by hour and the individual transactions. Mispick summaries, notes and issues, same as on the other report. So if it shows up here, it'll show up on the availability report and on the charge utilization. And then the calendar, which gives you the time and date and charger ID of every single mispick. This is great for looking at patterns of what's going on. Charger utilization report is the last one of data. Each charger here and how many times that charger was used. Cool down time graph here to see if you're getting adequate cool down. Statistics on cool down and such. And then again the detail here, but each charger. So one line for every charger. And you'll notice Anything out of range, which is an alert, is in orange, which is important because now we're going to go to the settings screen where you can adjust that. Firstly, the pool information. Um, it's good to get the battery count and the truck count set properly because that will affect some of the statistics and ratios. The battery information is for your use only. It's informational. 
the alert settings is where you will turn off alerts that you don't want, turn on alerts that you do want, or over here, change the thresholds for that pool so that the alerts are either more or less sensitive to give you useful um, exception reporting. And then make sure you save it down here if you make any changes. So then lastly, going back to the site list, this is the graphic, the standard one, but there's also a text-only version. So the graphs go away, it's a more compact view, it's not quite as pretty, but it will display more sites and more pools in uh, a screen. So this is especially useful for users who have a lot of sites and a lot of pools, and it gives you the ability to sort. So if I click on here, I'm gonna put my pools with the most number of alerts first. I can obviously hover here and see what they are, but this would show me out of all my sites and all my pools, which ones are having the most alerts. Or if I sorted by mispick percentage, I can see that this is the one that has the most mispicks in my whole fleet. And then I can still click on these and drill down and get to the report page. So either site list works, use whichever one you feel more comfortable with, and they both take you to the same place as far as the report page. Thanks for watching.